Hello, Acadiana, and thanks for joining us. Grammy Award winning Louisiana musician Terrence Simeon and his band fell victim to a crime while in Nevada. Their trailer, carrying more than $15,000 worth of equipment, was stolen from their hotel parking lot. News 10's Rodrigo Taylor joins us after talking with Simeon about what happened. Dalford, the group was on tour and had to cancel. He says after 41 years in the industry, having their equipment stolen was something that never happened to them before. It was, it was a shock, you know. It was a shock not only to me but to all the all the guys in the band. I've been touring since 1985, and this nothing like this has ever happened since. You know, in that time period, you know. Terrence Simeon. I can catch those The leader of the Zodico experience says it's been a rough weekend for the band. Our trailer was connected to our van and the next morning we woke up and it was gone with all of our musical equipment. Simeon says they met with police but have no leads yet. We 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 hoping, you know, that, that maybe some miracle they might find it and things will be intact, but more than likely, you know, it's it's gone forever. Terrence is always a given person. He's a person that's always there for everybody. If you got a benefit, Terrence is there. It's not about the money for Terrence. He's always showing up, man. Hey, what can I do to help somebody? So whatever we can do to help Terrence, we here for you, my brother. I love you. We here for you. That's actually heartbreaking to hear that, especially uh, for someone of his stature. Uh, Mr. Terrence has been in the music industry for so long, and it's opened so many pathways for for artists such as myself. It's, it's very heartbreaking to hear of something of that nature. The band has set up a GoFundMe account to replace their equipment. You can help the band by going to klfy.com right now and click on the story. We have the link to the GoFundMe inside that story. Roger Taylor, KLFY News 10.